If you miss that, the password is password. It's a bit of a joke, I guess. Uh, let's go. You know, if someone was chasing you with a shotgun, you'd probably run around the cover. Fantastic. Instead of just running straight forward, what did you do? Now, just a hint. If you're ever chased by a guy with a shotgun. I think if you're fast enough, you can actually save those people. But obviously I'm not fast enough. Wait, this war is disconnected from everything else, huh? Let's see where we're going. Going to shoot that guy. Some ammo, but... Not what we need. Can you move? Yeah, move, move. Okay, come across. If you say so. I think a guy will come up from there. No? Okay, let's just raise. No, we can't raise that. Yeah, there we go. Knew it. How did I know? I've played this game quite a few times. Let's see. There's still light in the bathroom, amazingly. The rest of the house is completely burned out. Guys, they're there, okay. Um, okay, there's something back there, I know it. I don't use a shotgun very much. Ow! And uh, yeah, building is getting demolished left and right. Okay, zombies as well. Stuff's on fire, although I don't know how you set sand on fire. Running low on ammo for this thing. So where we? Where are we going? Let's. Huh, it does open. Are we meant to go that way? No, we're not. This is. So I don't know why. We couldn't just go through there. We came this way and we went around and up there and back down again. So we can go backwards if we want to, although there's no reason why we would want to. Oh, this place. Take this med kit. So, another set piece. That guy's gonna die. Oh, grenade. Yeah. So there goes two guys, because they're not smart enough to dodge grenades. You know, there's a lot of backs of buildings. I'm surprised by just how much there is.
You know, there's a lot of these courtyards at the back and there's not really that many doors leading into the buildings themselves. It's very strange, like that's all fenced off. You can't really go with it. Really where? Okay. So the heck crabs are attacking the combine. This debris does not look like real debris, but that's all right. Debris is pretty hard to. Hey, it's Freeman. Let's follow him. Oh, good. What were you guys doing here? Oh, there goes one of them. There goes the second one. Reload. One more guy. Well, I think. No, that's not a guy. Um, hmm. Citadel is that way. We are going this way. So we're still here. I mean, you can recognize. We're still in this internal courtyard. We're like, we've killed a lot of guys, but we haven't traveled very far. We kind of went around in big circles. Guy, sorry. Sorry. So another busted up building. What was that? Just repeating myself, but again, I'm not entirely sure if this is, you know, if this actually becomes a real city or if it's just buildings. You know, when a zombie comes at you, you should, you should shoot it, not just stand there. That way's a dead end. And they're getting owned by zombies. We'll just let them fight for a bit.
I think the, they're doing quite well actually, the combine. I think that's all. Yep. Let's see what's what's over here. Nothing? Fire? So I mean, there's only one path through all of this, so it's not like it's complicated. You know, an apartment building is usually you know, usually you have a lot of branching paths. You have staircases leading to a number of floors and then hallways at each floor leading to a number of apartments and you know, it's, it's a branching pattern but in Half-Life you they appropriate the apartment, they lock a bunch of doors, they open up walls and they do all that stuff to turn it into a linear or a fairly linear path so that it's suitable for game Oh, this bit. <laughs> 